the situation will be something like this. As the pendulum touches the flow at the lowest point, therefore, the total length of the stretched wire plus the diameter of the sphere should be equal to h. Here we can write the stretched length equal to the unstretched length plus the extension in the wire. Thus we can say that extension in the wire will be equal to this term. Substituting values, we get this to be equal to 1 cm. Since tension in the wire causes this extension, therefore, we can use the relation between the stress and the strain to calculate T. That is, tension divided by the area of cross section of the wire should be equal to the Young's modulus into the strain in the wire. Writing area of the cross section of the wire as pi r square and solving, we get the value of tension. Now, using the free body diagram of the sphere at the lowest point, we can say that T minus mg should be equal to mass of the sphere into its centripetal acceleration. Substituting the values, we get the value of V.